remember he's savior of the world, but only, only those who look to him to receive him will be saved. For God so loved the world. He's not talking about the planet. He's talking about the inhabitants of the planet. Always remember when God, the emphasis is never on the materialistic, never on buildings and stuff like that with God. Never. When, when the Bible said God wept over Jerusalem, he didn't weep, weep over stone and building. He wept over the inhabitants. He said, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how oft would I have loved to have gathered you in my arms and love you as a hen would gather her chicks beneath her wings to protect them. But you would not have it. You keep sticking your finger in his eyes and say, get out of here. No. No, no. So as much as God wants all the inhabitants, because let me tell you, all humanity is his creation. It's not the devil's creation. The devil never create anything. He's not the creator. He's the destroyer. The thief cometh not but for what? To kill, to steal, to destroy. He doesn't create anything. He's not God. God created him. Okay. And uh, and uh, so you know. So all all people are his creation, and it's not his will that any perish, because he created all. But the Bible said, but it's, even he came unto his own, and his own did not receive him. Come on. People say, well, you know, you know, uh, you go into community and, and you, everybody know you and you think you're going to do a great work and you go there and find a like, it don't work that way. <laughs> it don't work that way. I was talking to the Happy Goodman. Anybody know the Happy Goodman singers? They're all dead and gone home to be with the Lord. Uh, the Lord called him to to, print, to, to pastor church. And uh, he said, you know, I'm Happy Goodman. Everybody, I should have a great ministry. Everybody know me and love me. So when he went into this town to pastor the church, he said, it was, it was lean pickings. He said, nobody, you know, uh, is one thing to sing, another thing to preach the gospel. And he said, uh, uh, not because you are who you think you are, because you're dealing with eternity, you're dealing with light and darkness, you're dealing with truth, you're dealing with the word of God, and luck plays into it. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. I want you to stand with us this morning. Welcome, praise the Lord. Summer is here. Wow. Welcome to brand new month, the month of June. Wow, I've got an anniversary to tomorrow. 46 years, 46 in the making. Wow. 46. They come quicker than you can blink. Just like birthdays. <laughs> My son's birthday today. Huh? My son's birthday today. Birthday today. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, so, a brand new month. Wow, can you believe the years? have gone yes. have gone already wow and before you realize that uh we're in summer and so another season a new another new beginning another season in our life i love you we love you yes. welcome let's lift our hands before we get in the word well, i want you to turn with me in the book of psalms 27 yes. psalms 27 most of you could quote this by heart uh, this psalm, this psalm shall be learned. Should you should learn and memorize this like the twenty-third psalm, because it's, it's 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 such a beautiful psalm. Let's lift our faith, Father. We honor you today. We lift our faith, our hearts, our worship, our lives, our love to you. We honor you today. We adore you. We exalt you. We bless you. We praise and worship you magnify and glorify you celebrate and exalt you 
We declare you are the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the living eternal word. Father, we ask that you'd come and rest down upon us, give us an open heaven, that you'd take your rightful place upon the throne of this service, that you'd have your way manifest your presence to us. Show us your glory in the supernatural and the miraculous and the miracles of God. Lord, you're the great I am. You're the great physician. You're the miracle worker. You're the Lord our God that healed thee and all things are possible unto him that believe. Father, we cast all our cares upon you knowing that you care for us. And we take every burden we lay at the foot of a cross knowing that you are our burden bearer. Father, be glorified in us and through us. Be lifted up, edified, glorified, magnified, and praise and all that you desire to accomplish and to bring forth this day. Have your way, Father. Lord, we lift up holy hands, holy hearts, a holy faith, a holy love, a holy life to a holy God. We bow at your throne. We bow in full submission and obedience to your kingdom, your government, your leadership, your rule within our lives. Have your way, Father. We love you with all of our hearts. We come hungry, we come thirsty, we come that we may lift you high upon the throne of our lives. We worship you today. Father, receive our worship, receive our praise. We want you to know we recognize that you have come in the temple, you have come in the house. And we honor you. We, we, we honor you. We honor you today. Take your rightful place upon this service. Take your rightful place upon the throne of our hearts, on the throne of our lives, and be glorified in us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Turn with me in the Psalm 27. You have it in your Bibles with you. This is a Psalm of David. Not all of them are, but this one is. David said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Unless the Lord light your candle, you will forever walk in the darkness. The Bible said the spirit of man is as a candle before God. So he has to light your candle. And David said, the Lord is my light because he has what? Lit my candle. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. James, he's the strength of your life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat my flesh, they stumble. To eat my flesh, mine enemies and foes, they stumble and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. And this will I be confidence, war within, war without. One thing. David summed up his whole life in one thing. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek after. What is this, David? That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me. Oh, Holy Father. This morning I got a message the Lord put in my spirit talking about, say with me, say this phrase, say Jesus, Jesus. a living refuge. A living say that again with me. Jesus, Jesus a, living a living refuge. Look what David said. In the time of trouble he shall what? Hide me. In his pavilion, a living refuge. In the secret place of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me on high upon a rock. Anybody know who that rock is? Jesus. We're going to talk about that this morning. I'm, I'm reading this because this ties in with the message. And he said, and now my head shall be lifted up above mine enemies all around me. Therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. 
I will sing, yes, I will sing yes, to the Lord. Yes, mm. Mm. Let, let, let's just pause and back up. David said, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. Look at me for a second. How many of you, when you, when you uh, go through a rough day or a rough week, or you just don't feel spiritual, but you're in the house. Yes, yes. I mean, if you believe that's when God. Yes, yes. Mm. You, you don't don't ever lean into your feelings. Hey. Don't ever pick up the offense. You own it, and it'll destroy you, yes. and it'll beat your head in, yes. and you lose your joy and your victory, and you'll sit on the sidelines like like. Uh, like Peter, I'm telling you, the best of you, I've seen too much of it, the best of you, that you'll never in a million years think you'll do that, and you did it. Because you yield to your stinking flesh. And God says, don't do that. Don't do that. that. You know better. Don't do that. He reminded John the Baptist. He said, woe to those who are offended in me. Don't pick up the offense. Aren't you glad we have a living refuge? We could run to the rock Say, run to the rock. He shall set me on high upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy when I don't even feel like it. I'm going to do it anyhow. Because that's the right thing to do. I will not yield to my stinking flesh. I will offer up sacrifices. That's when I don't feel like it. But I'm going to do it anyhow. Because that's the right thing to do. God honors that. God honors that. I don't feel like going to church. Because of my stinking flesh and my attitude. But I'm going to go anyhow. Because that's the right thing to do. He talks about that. And he said... When you do that, he'll set you up on a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me. And answer me when you said, seek my face. My heart said to you, your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me. Do not leave me nor forsake me. O oh God my, of my salvation. For when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O oh Lord, and lead me in a smooth path. Because of mine enemies, do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries. For even false witnesses have risen against me as such as breathe out violent. I would have lost heart unless I had believed. I had believed. Don't ever throw your confidence away. Don't throw it under the bus. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of God that I may see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. For they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk 
and not get tired and get faint. For they that wait upon the Lord shall inherit the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to preach in a message here. I already got it written out and prepared and got an anointing for it. Are you an eagle or are you a chicken? <laughs> and let me tell you what I'm I'm looking to do. I'm, I'm like I oh, God already put a man that raises chicken, and he said, Pastor, I'll bring a cage full of them. And he said, No, he. I said, I said, just, just bring me two pretty, pretty, pr pretty chickens, a big hen or a rooster, whatever. He said, I'll do it. Put it in the cage and display it. And he said, There, then, then I want to. And I want to go to the, the people in, in right in Charles County that they have a program where they show the eagle. I'm going to bring a bald eagle in the house. And he'll talk to you about the eagle. And let him open his wings, the eagle. A real eagle, bald eagle. And the chicken, which one you like to be, the chicken or the eagle. <laughs> See, the chicken is the domestic bird. The eagle is a heavenly bird. The chicken feed on the ground. The eagle flies and picks up its prey and keeps going. The difference between the chicken, they're both birds and they both fly. But the difference with the chicken, he fly in its own strength, in its own power. The eagle learned the art of the wind, the current of the wind, the power of the current of the wind. Jesus said that Nicodemus, the wind bloweth. And you hear the sound thereof, but you can't not tell whence it cometh, but the eagle feels it with its feathers. She tests it. And all of a sudden she feels it and then the wind lifts her. She doesn't do this. She doesn't do that. She just lifts. She I witnessed that. She feels the current. You don't feel it, you don't see it, but she feels it. She's sensitive to it. She knows it. And the car, she waits for the current to come and it picks her up without her even opening her way. I mean, to do this. And she rises. You can see, then she settles back down. And the wind, she can feel the car go, she go picks it up. And she, she's in mid eye, in mid flight, just the wings open, not doing this. The courage, she learned the courage. Oh, the wind, a great message. The body of Christ. They burn in rubber at both ends. Like the chicken. Living in their own strength. In their own energy. In their own ability. And you can't do it. You'll never do it. You'll never accomplish it. Not by might. Come on. Not by power, but by my spirit, say the Lord of hosts. For they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. Wait upon the wind, the current. The wind is God, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God. The wind bloweth, and you listen to it, but you can't not tell from whence it cometh or whether it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. The body of Christ need to become sensitive to the leadership of the Holy Spirit, to the wind of Pentecost. Lift your hands and lift your heart. Father, we honor you today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the might and power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the anointing of God. Thank you for the glory of Jesus Christ. Thank you for this hallowed holy day. Thank you that we can come into the temple lifting up holy hands, holy hearts, a holy faith, a holy love, a holy life, a holy God. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. Thank you for this another month, another day. Oh God, how blessed we are to be on this earth in the land of the living. 
So the dead praise you, oh my God, but while I have my being, I will honor you. I will praise you. I will sing your praises. I will bless your name. I'll lift up holy hands in the sanctuary, and I will bless your name. Hallelujah. For you are worthy. You are worthy. You are holy. You are righteous and just. You're glorious. You're beautiful. And we honor you and we thank you and we praise you and we bless you. And we magnify and glorify you today. Hallelujah! We honor you, Holy Father. Spirit of God, we honor you. Lord God, we honor you. We bless you. We worship and praise you. We give you thanks. We give you praise. In Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you can say, yes, he is faithful. He is faithful. And he's faithful to me. He's faithful to you. He's faithful to us. You are faithful. He never ceased to amaze me. The Lord never Every time I think I got it nailed down, he does a, he does a, he does a, I mean, he does a somersault, he does a flip, he does a turn like, oh, I, and I, all I can say is glory, glory, oh my, then I see another side, of, oh, glory, no wonder the, no wonder the seraphims, every time they look, he's like a diamond, and every time they look, they see a different, a different side, of, oh, glory, oh, glory, oh, glory, oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, 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 and the wisdom and the splendor and the majesty, the honor of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. What a God. I can't wait to get home. Amen. I'm telling you, I can't. Uh, you, ever get, you ever get home something like Paul? He said, I'm the twitch. I'm just, I'm fit to be taught. I don't know if I want to stay here any longer. I want to go home. And the church said, oh, Paul, please, 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 don't go, don't go. Don't go leave us. Stay here to teach us the word. And Paul said, I tell you what, if I stay here, teach you the word he says it's not all it's not all loss he said I, I'll add fruit to my salvation come on talk to me here uh, you ever get homesick you ever, ever get fed up with this this not this environment this earthly world hallelujah the more you draw the closer you draw closer to God the, cl the closer you draw to him the more distant this world become that you don't want to be here. Hallelujah. The Lord loves you. I love you. Love you. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Amen. 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 We're going to the Lord in prayer. Pray for the ministry. Has, has God uh, answered a prayer for you this week? Has God gave you a miracle this week? Has God blessed you this week? Amen. Amen. Uh, ah! Anybody still believe in miracles? I got a miracle this week. A big one. He's a miracle God. <laughs> and like, what? Uh, thank you, Father. He's a miracle God. He's a miracle God. He never ceased to amaze me. Like, wow, wow, wow. All I can do is say, wow. Like, 
words are inadequate. We're going to the Lord in prayer. Let's pray. Pray for Sister Kay. Believe in you, for you and your daughter, for miracle, for healing, uh, for her. Uh, pray for pastor. Pray for my family. Pray for the churches, the Alexandra Church, the uh, Creative Church in Minnesota. Uh, pray for your family, your seed, your land. Uh, pray for the ministry here. Pray for the church here. Pray. Pray for one another. Pray for each other. How many can say we're needy people? We need him. You know, Lord, we need you here. And Lord, I need you here. I need you to touch me, to bless me, to renew my mind, to renew my strength. I, I come to get my soup, my soup tightened up and adjusted and get my sword sharpened and put my, my head, make sure all the arm is in order. Come on, the battle is out there. Come on. Come on, amen, 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 amen. Iron, come on, say iron sharpens iron. You get my sword sharpened on the grindstone. Come on, talk to me. Amen, amen. Your father, yes, it's okay. Pastor, can I give a testimony? Sure. I was in the hospital yesterday, <coughs> and I was washing my daughter's feet. Mm -hmm. There was a young black man standing next to the bed in my daughter's room. Right. And I asked him if that was his mother, and he said, no, it was his grandmother. Right. And I said, does she believe in Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. He paused for a long time. He said, I don't know. Right. He said, but she used to read the Bible when I was living. Mm -hmm. I said, may I pray for your grandmother? He said, yes. Yes. So he asked the grandmother, can she pray for you? And she said, yes. Yeah. Right. Said, yeah. And I prayed a uh, healing prayer for him. Right. And anyway, when I was ready to leave, he came over to me and he said, Can I help you? Uh, amen. Yeah, yeah, amen. Yeah, amen. Yeah, was, yeah, <coughs> amen. 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 Like Amen. Yeah. You never know. Letting your light shine. Yeah. Being a witness, sowing the seed. Yeah. Amen. Amen. To the glory of God. To the glory of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I feel his presence. Sister Valina, I had a dream of you last night. I was in my car driving and uh, I, uh, I saw you came out of the building. He was waving at me and said, Pastor, Pastor, Pastor. And you said, Pastor, what did the Lord say? What did the Lord say? What did the Lord say? And I said, the Lord said it is well with you and your seed. That's the word I got from you, from me, for you. Hallelujah. Got that last night. Clear as a bell. So I don't know what's going on, but it's well. Amen. 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 Oh, ain't that wonderful? Hallelujah. 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 Pray for souls, pray for the harvest, pray for a harvest field, pray for each other, that's important. Stay close to the Lord, he's coming soon, be prepared for his coming. It can happen any minute, we don't know when, but occupy till he come. Somebody say amen, 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 amen. Pray for the ministry here. Pray that God would raise up this church as a lastly prophetic voice in this county to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. Any spoken requests quickly? Anyone else? Thank you for that testimony. Okay. Anyone? All right. Amen. 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 All is well. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. Tired. Love you. Good to see you. Missed you. Amen. Father, we love you today. Honor you. Praise and love you. Exalt and bless you. Worship and praise you. Thank you for the agape love of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the body of Christ. Thank you for the witness of the Holy Ghost in the house. Thank you for the glory of God in the temple. Thank you for every heart, every family, every seed, every land. Lord, rest down upon us. Continue to move and minister. You know all things. There's nothing hid from you. And Father, you're still speaking. You're still moving in dreams and visions. And you're still confirming in our hearts. And Lord, we look to you, the author, the finish of our faith. We cast all our cares upon you, knowing that you careth for us. 
Take every burden we laid at the foot of the cross, knowing that you are a burden bearer. What a joy to be in the presence of God. What a joy to be in the temple. Oh, what a joy to lift up holy hearts, holy hands, a holy faith, a holy life to live in Christ. And we honor you today. We love you from the depths of our hearts. We love you with every fiber of our being. We love you. You're the God of our salvation. You're the Lord of our lives. You're the lifter up of my head. You're my going in, my coming out. You're my everything. In you I live. In you we move. In you we function and exist. In you we have our being. And without you we're dust. We're nothing without you. We glorify you today. We give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. And the body of Christ said and declared and said, Amen. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to June. A new month. Wow. The month of June. Summer is here. Don't you feel it? <laughs> All right. It's time to sow the seed. Amen. Wow. Wow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, the Bible said, God give us bread for food. Gives us seed to sow. And he said that when, he, when we sow it, he takes it and bless it, breaks it, multiplies it. And he sows it back in your life. Well, I like that. He sows it back in your life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God to whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him, all ye heavenly hosts. Praise Him, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. If there's an envelope on the table. Put your name on it. Stand with me this morning. Hallelujah. Lift up your worship to the Lord. Father, we honor you. In recognition, we want you to know it all came from you, from your hand. Our jobs, all the blessings, all the favors, all the provision, and all, every good and perfect gift cometh down from the Father of light, in whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. For you are the same yesterday, today, and forever and you change not we can forever trust from generation to generation to generation we can trust you for you are faithful you're the rock say you're my rock you're the rock you're my rock hallelujah and if you become like jesus the little christ say the christ you also become the rock say living stone Come on, you're the three of the rock. Amen. And, you, and that manifests in your life. Say, I become a rock. In, in, my, in my own life, I'm a rock. Come on, talk to me here. Amen. I'm there. I'm solid, established, settled, strengthened. I'm there. I'm a rock. Say it. I'm a rock. I'm a rock. That's what God said you are. Amen. Father, we give you glory. We give you thanks. We give you praise. Now, Father, sow it back in the lives of the people of God in this earthly realm. And, Father, I declare every need met, every bill paid, you are a God who's more than enough. And never, ever, cause us to never, ever forget who gave it and whence it came. We glorify you in Jesus' name. The body of Christ declares, said, Amen. And Amen. And Amen. You may be seated. Sister O'Brien is coming to worship with you and to receive our tithe and offering for a brand new month, the month of June. Wow, to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Let me encourage you to be at to uh, dial in in the afternoon to another service, three o'clock, and listen in to Pastor preaching live every Sunday afternoon, three o'clock. Enjoy the service. Let me encourage you to be a part of the Bible studies on every uh, Tuesday at 7.30, a time of prayer. Every Friday at 7 o'clock, a time of teaching every Sunday morning, 
quarter to 10 to quarter to 11, our morning worship at 11. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Sister Brian, ask God's blessing. Stretch forth your hand toward it. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Just saying thank you. Lord thank you, yes. Thank you, Father. Father God, we thank you. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We yes. Thank you, Lord. We, we feel your presence. Yes. 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 yes, yes. Hallelujah, Lord God. Yes. Multiply and increase, Lord God. Yes. yes. Touch each and every person that is able to give us the Yes, Father. Increase in their life. Lord. Yes, Father. Surround them, keep them, Lord Yes, God. Lord. Give them a sense of peace, Lord God. Yeah. Yes, we Father. Feel your love, Lord God. Yes, Lord. We just thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Ah, Yes, 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 Father. We thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Satana na 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 Moshayara da 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 Messiah. I'm gonna lift those hands, lift your heart, just honor the Lord here, honor the Holy Ghost, Spirit of God. We honor you, Holy Ghost. We honor you. We honor you. We honor your witness, your Spirit, your presence. We honor you. 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 We bow in reverence. At your presence, at your spirit, at your presence. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. We honor your presence. Ah, God, you're a good God. You're a good God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Just thank Him. Thank Him with me. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. 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 Ah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Gitadabakai. Oh, Shapaka Sama Makosika. I tell you, the Lord's in this house. Whatever you need, you can receive right now. Whatever, I'm telling you. I don't, I don't know what your need is, but just reach out. And he's walking by. He's walking these eyes in and out these chairs. He's in the house today. He's in the house. Just reach up and reach out and touch him this morning. Let him touch you this morning. Let him touch you this morning. We need you here. Oh God, we need you here. 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 I, I don't ever want to conduct a service with him not being in the midst. I, I, I don't want to go there. I, 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 I want him in the midst. Moses said, Lord, I don't want to go anywhere without you. And if I go, I want you to go with me. And when you go with me, I want you to let the people see that you're with me. Oh, hallelujah. That is not just flesh. It's not just mere man. It's God. It's God. Lord, I, 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 I don't, I don't want, I, 
I, I, I said, Lord, I don't want to conduct a service without you. It's not a service to have a service. Anybody hear me here? Not a service just to have a service. With, if he's not in it, you don't have a service. You got a religious activity, but you, you don't have nothing. He's got to be in it. I said he's got to be in it. I said he's got to be in it. He's got to be in it. He's got to be in charge of it. And, and let me tell you, I, 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 I know him so much, I, I, it don't take me but a heartbeat to just walk, walk away and let him be God. I, I, I know him. I've done it many times. So I'm not here just to preach to preach. And you should know that by now. Holy Father. Lord, whatever you have planned, Manifest yourself. Fulfill your purpose. Work your good work, good will, good purpose on your plan. In this church, in this ministry, in each and every heart, in each and every life. Holy Father. Holy Father. Holy Father. He said, Pastor, I need, to, I need to be up there. I need to run. I need to come. Well, why don't you come get up and run up here? Don't worry about the message. I can hit that next week. Whenever the Lord moves. No big deal to me. Anybody need a miracle? Anybody need prayer? Run up here. Don't just wait. Run up here. The water's trouble. I said the water is trouble. And it's been trouble since I walked in the door this morning. Turn the key. I felt the ripplings of the water. I, I said I felt the ripplings of the water, said the carol. I turned the key and came in and I felt the ripplings of the water. Samara so felt the ripplings of the water. The ripplings of the, the water of God. Father, we're dust. We need you. I need you here now. I need you. I need you in my life. I need you to fix whatever. I need you to put it together. I need healing. I, I, I need, I need, Lord, you know my heart. You know my going in, my coming out. You know my life. Lord, you know what I faced this past week. You know what I'm going through. Every life is different. You know, you know, you know. Lift those hands to God. Lift them up. Say, Father, I release it. I release, I release, I release the burden, the load, the concern. I release the weightiness, the weight upon my spirit. God, I release it to you, Father. Lord, I put it, I lay it at the foot of a cross. I lay it in your, in, I lay it at your feet, Father. Lord, in the name of Jesus, knowing that you are faithful, knowing that you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that which we're able to ask or even think according to the power of God that worketh in you, in me, in us. God, I come this morning. I come in simple faith. I come reaching up and reaching out to touch the hem of your garment. I come believing today that I may draw from you life and healing and health and that I may draw from you the miracle that I desperately need, the miracle that I need in my life. Lord, I trust you today. I come in faith believing today. I lay bare before you God, I hold nothing, uh, nothing back from you, Lord. I lay, I come transparent and I lay it before you, Father. And I say, here it is, Lord. Here it is, Lord. I put it in your hand. I put it in your heart. In the name of Jesus. 
And I lay it there and I leave it there. Leave it there, leave it there. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. If you trust and never doubt, He will surely work it out. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. Oh, blessed God. Oh, Allah said, Oh, and never doubt he will surely work it out take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there I lay it at your feet Father oh God I lay aside every weight and every hindrance and all that seem to come against me and to hinder me and all that I have to deal with in this earthly realm Father only you know, only you know, Father, dealing with sickness and family and, and finances and job and children and grandchildren and dealing with health issues and all the problems of life, God. You are a God who is touched with the feelings of our weaknesses, of our infirmities. into my earthly life I receive from you Father and I say Lord thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. oh sovereign God thank you thank you the Lord our rock in him we hide a shelter in the time of storm. Forever safe, forever secure. A shelter in the time of storm. Be our very refuge. Our hope is in you. Our strength is in you. Looking unto Jesus, the author, the finisher, of our faith, casting all our cares upon you, knowing that you care for us, for you touch with the feelings of our weaknesses, you're concerned about that which concerns us, and we lay bare our hearts before you, we lay bare our hearts before you, you're such a good father, you're a living refuge and we run to the rock that is higher than I that is greater than I that is bigger than I and I said hide me in the cliff of the rock cover me with the sheltered wings of the almighty God and rest down upon me and draw me to your heart. Draw me to you, Father. Draw me to you. Draw me, draw me, draw me to you, Father. Oh, oh, Holy Father. Oh, Holy God. Oh, Holy God. 
the Lord as he goes by. Oh, Holy Father. The Bible said he walks among the candlesticks. He walks among the candlesticks. Reach out. You find he's never too busy to hear man's cry. He's passing by this moment. He's your needs he will supply. Reach up and touch the Lord as he goes by. Oh, Holy Father. The Bible said the Lord went by on the, with Moses in the rock. The Lord said, Moses, come out and look. Moses came out and look. And the Lord said with me, had passed by. None. Not because he passed by it. Moses missed it. That was on purpose. But the Bible said when he passed by, the glory was still presence. And Moses' face caught a blaze and became like the sun in the manifest glory of God. And then God said to Moses, Yes, I pass by, but I'll cause all of my goodness to pass before your life. Oh! So he, he didn't just pass by and didn't leave the trail. He said, Moses, I'll cause all of my goodness to pass before you. And so as Moses grew in years, he came into the goodness of God blessings, the faith, and the goodness of God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. I want you to be seated for a moment. The Lord is doing a little changing here.
I've, I've, I've got a message here that I prepare and the Lord said hold, hold it and he's telling me just read the scripture here and just let him flow Isaiah 32 2 I want to talk to you just I don't know it might be a minute two minutes we don't know I want to talk to you about say this phrase Jesus a living refuge Jesus a living refuge Isaiah 32, 2. A man will be a hiding place from the wind. That's a mouthful right there. Now he's talking, who's the man? The man, say the man, Christ Jesus. Remember, the message is what Jesus, a living refuge. A man will be a hiding place from the wind. Remember when David said, hide me, O Lord, in the cliff of the rock. Cover me with the sheltered wings of an almighty God. Hide me from the storm. Hide me. Hide me in Christ. My life is, say with me, hid with Christ, the man in God, which is in Christ, which is in Christ Jesus. That's why that wicked one can't find me. For I say to somebody, I've come into that place of rest. There is a rest for the people of God from the onslaught of the demonic. Talk to me here. The Bible said that wicked one touches you not. Why? Because he can't find you. Why? Because I'm hid in the rock, in the man, for he's my hiding place. Oh my God. He's my, oh, he's my hiding place. Ever played Ever played seek and hide when you were small? A man will be as a hiding place from the wind. From the wind. The wind can be cruel. The wind can be blistering and hot. The wind can be uncomfortable. The winds of this earthly realm. The winds of trouble and turmoil and the north wind. The bride said, come north wind, come south wind. North wind is the wind of adversity. Of, 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 of adversity. The south wind is the good wind, the cool wind. Say the refreshing wind. The wind of a spirit. The wind bloweth. Where it listeneth and thou heareth the sound thereof, but canst not tell from whence it cometh or whether it goeth. Says everyone that is born of the spirit of man will be as a hiding place from the wind. A cover from the tempest. A cover from the tempest. You ever, uh, you ever cried to God and said, God, cover me. Cover me. Cover me. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I said, the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wings 
shall thou trust. His truth, the word of God, shall be thy shield and thy buckler. I will not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arse that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at known thee a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh me, nor my dwelling. For I will not fear, for the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want anything. That's relationship. The Lord is my shepherd. That's relationship. I shall not want that supplies. My God supplies all my every need. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. That's rest which you were just talking about. He leadeth me beside the still waters. That's refreshment. Refresh me, Lord. In the spirit, for with stammer and lips and with another tongue will he speak to this people, saying, This is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing. Somebody said there's one baptism, but many refreshings. The refreshing. He restoreth my soul, that's healing. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness, that's guidance. For his name's sake, that's purpose. It's a, He's got purpose for me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that's testing. I will fear no evil, that's protection. Somebody praise him today. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, that's discipline. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy, that's hope. Thou anointed mine head with oil, that's consecration. Isn't that wonderful? My cup run whole. My katako shataya, my cup run da 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 bo sidi da da basaya. Who shin in the masaya. Run it out to the bakai loko da 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 basaya. My katita to hoshamo ko si in 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 so to 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 the basai, mama kasa, and my cup rather than the basai. That's a butter to the basai. Oh, go, shama. Mm. Mm. My cup runneth over. That's abundance. That's abundance. Surely, goodness and mercy shall fall on me all the days of my life. That's blessings. Blessings and favor and goodness. And I will dwell in the temple, in the tabernacle, in the house of the Lord. That security. Forever, that's eternity. Oh, praise God. I'm talking about a man. I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about the rock. I'm talking about a living refuge. So a man shall be a hiding place from the wind, a cover from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place. So he's a hiding place, he's a cover, and he's living waters in a dry place. Ever went through a dry place in life? You feel like you're going through one now? Where your soul seems parched and you don't feel spiritual? In fact, you don't have no appetite for the spiritual. You rather sit home and watch the tube. That's the dry place. I tell somebody to come to me and say, Pastor, I, I can't even pray. I just feel dry. It's okay, to, it's okay to be there, but don't stay there. Run to the rock. Run to God. Say, run to God. Try with me in Psalm 1.
Let's hear what God says. He said, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in, in his law do they meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season. Whose life, whose leaf, your life, because you're like a tree, shall not wither. You shall not have a withered life. Somebody say, thank God. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. That's the righteous. Read it. That's the righteous. God said, a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, a cover from the tempest as rivers of waters in a dry place. The Bible said, out of the wells of salvation shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. Say, the water's there. I just got by faith. I need to drop the bucket. Oh, Lord of mercy. I said, the water's always there. Say, I, I have to drop the bucket. I, I, have to, I have to come and just drop before God. And by faith begin to draw from that living, eternal, etesian well, which is that eternal fountain head, which is Christ. A man shall be as rivers of water in a dry place. Mm. Mm. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drive away. But I'm the righteous. And then he says something else. He says, as a shadow of a great rock, in a weary land, in the wilderness. Say, he's my shelter. He's my shadow from the heat. From the sunlight, no sun shall strike thee. Come on. He's my shadow. Anybody remember when Peter went to the marketplace? The God that was in Peter, his shadow. Fell, oh, fell upon the people. And there were miracles and healings and supernatural manifestations. And the people realized that God was in the shadow. It wasn't Peter. It was the God in Peter that fell the shadow. Turn to somebody and said, he's also my shadow. My Lord of mercy. That's what the word says. A man as a shadow of a great rock. The Bible said that rock is Christ. That rock followed him all the way through the wilderness journey. Come on. And Moses is supposed to strike the rock once and he struck it twice and it cost him. Say, Jesus is my rock. He's the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. 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 Turn with me in the book of Psalms, if you will. Let's look at something here. Look at Psalms 18 with me. Look at verse 31. For, for who is God except the Lord? Who is a rock? Who is a rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. My feet like the feet of a deer. He sets me on high places. He teaches my hands to make war so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. Look at 46. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God who avenges me and subdue the people under me. He delivers me from mine enemies. You also lift me up above those who rise up against me. I'm talking about a living refuge. You have delivered me from the violent men. Therefore I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the Gentiles and sing praises to 
your name. Look at Psalm 18, look at verse 1. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord he is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength. In whom will I trust? The Lord, you're my shield and the horn of my salvation. You are my stronghold. I will call upon you, O Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I may be saved from my enemies. Glory to God. Glory to God. Verse 5, the sorrows of hell, Sheol surrounds me. The snares of death confronted me, but in my distress, I called upon the Lord and I cried out to my God and he heard my voice from his temple. He knows your voice. Let me say that again. Your voice is not my voice. He knows your voice. And your voice is eternal. You take that with you in eternity. Let me say that again. I was talking to somebody this past week, and he says, Pastor, what do you think it's going to be like when we, when we leave this earth, if the Lord comes today or we go home? He said, I said, you're going to be just like you are, only thing without a body. If you leave this earth without the rapture, the resurrection, if you leave this earth in death, you, you're going to be you're going to be a disembodied spirit. But you're going to be you. You're still going to have your voice, your mind, your thoughts, your your personality, your disposition. You're going to be you. Somebody say, "Amen." Wow. Only thing you've been in a different world. You've been a heavenly world, but you'll still be you. Not amazing. You'll still talk. Still have your voice. Still be you. Only thing difference, you'd be a disembodied spirit. Now, when you get your new house, I'm gonna get a new house, a spirit house, an eternal house. And it's gonna be one the one that God created for me. Not my parents, not the DNA, not the flesh, the spirit. Somebody say amen. Let me give you one other scripture. I'm just thumbing through. Lord, I'm trying to be obedient. Psalm 46, 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. He is our living refuge. We run to the rock. Therefore, we will not fear. Say it. We will not fear. Don't be fearful. Fear brings torment. Perfect love casteth out all fear. Say, we will not fear. We will not fear. Look what it said, though the earth be removed and you weren't about COVID. We will not fear, though the earth be removed. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not running over this just to read scripture. Let's back up and go back over that again. We will not fear, though the earth be removed. Man's hearts failing them for fear, looking what's coming upon the face of this earth. Any, anybody, any, anybody follow prophecy? Anybody what, know what just happened? A, an earthquake happened in Israel. Anybody remember? They changed governments. Big, big deal. Net you that was prime minister for 15 years. 15 years. 15 years. Three years when, uh, when uh, Rabain was assassinated. He was in office for one year, and Netanyahu pick up 
because it was the same party. He was elected vice president. He picked up. He served three years, and then he was elected three, four term years. Three, three fourths twelve, and three is fifteen. So they put a new government together, and it's not good. It is, it is, but it has to happen. It has to happen so, and part of the government for the first time is made up with the same Arabs who threw the missiles at them. So one of the Palestinians run and he got three seats and the three seats helped make him the 61 seats so he's in the government. And they got everything under the sun, all the, uh, everything that, that is that, 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 that Israel didn't want is in it. But that has to happen because remember Israel will sign a peace treaty so called supposed to be seven years will be broken the, the first three and a half, the end of the first three and a half years with the Arab nation will divide the land that's a no-no with God so things are close Hamas put a decree, said God came to them and declared to destroy Tel Aviv. So, we're, so you know, we know it's God, but it's not the God that we know, not the God of the Bible. So Satan is doing his work. Why are you saying that? I'm saying that that's, you know, we're living in divine prophecies of the closing dispensation of grace and the dispensation of the church age and and we're in smack dab in the middle of, of the prophetic time clock of God's word. And uh, we're seeing uh, changes and upheaval in this land, but all over the world we see changes. And uh, anybody look at inflation coming and look at food prices? Come on, talk to me here. I, that's the real world. I said, that's the real world. I mean, you go in the store, pet, spend a hundred dollars, you come up with a little bag. Like, what's this? A hundred bucks. I go, I, I go to store three or four times. I taste two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars. Like for what? You know. Honest to God, I, I, I went to the store yesterday. My wife loved cherries. I wanted to get her some cherries. Say if we had some cherries, they were the, not the big, nice ones. They were the little tiny, small ones. And I got about a pound. Not, not just for her. Honest to God, God hear me. I went to the register and the register rent nine nine dollars and eighty nine cents. I said, what? I said, check that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I said, I said, wait, 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 wait a minute. I said, check that. Day. Your 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 register's not doing this right. And I, I I said, let me give you my I got my number. You know, they be you the scout and I give him my number. She put it in. Still nine dollars and eighty nine cents. I said, what 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 what? I mean, for a pound, less than a, a about a pound of cherries. I said, ma'am, uh, I got money to pay for that, but I I don't want that not, not a ten dollars for that. And she said, I wouldn't either. I said, said that better. <laughs> <laughs> the lady at the red, she said, I wouldn't want it either. I'm the bitter. <laughs> but I'm just saying the price of food. Gas going up, food going up. Uh, everything's going up. Now just be, it's just beginning. The Bible said in the last day, a bag of gold will buy a piece of bread. If I try to go out to eat, it's like, what? I went uh, this past Friday, my, my wife said, honey, can we get some shrimp? I don't feel like cooking. I said, yeah, we go get some shrimp. So she called uh, uh, the shrimp people. What is this? Uh, what the seafood place called? Uh, Red Lobster. So she said, darling, you know, you're darling, you go pick it up, you know, shrimp, you know. Good Lord. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm even eating in. You know, and they just throw it out there like dog food. Here, dog, here. Yeah. Honest to God, like they, they don't even prepare it right. Whole no. dry potato and yeah. and 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 they're like head dog, here. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm serious. 
I pay almost $50 for two dinners. And I had to go back in the car and get the shrimp sauce. They didn't even, like, they didn't even give me the sauce for the shrimp. I'm like, I'm like, what? Like, oh, you know, like, like, you know. And, I, and I've seen that over and over and over and over. Uh, don't ever go take her because they know you ain't coming back with it. It's just gone. So anything in the kitchen, just put in the bag and here. Now, if I was in a restaurant, I'd say, here, you eat this yourself. I've done that a few times. I say, come, manager, come, come. You want this? Eat this because I'm not going to eat this. It's dog food. Take this off my card. I'm not going to eat here. I, say, I do that. You do that? My wife, my wife gets embarrassed. She said, oh. I said, honey, they know how to write the check. You're not begging. You're not an animal. They know how to write the check and you pay it. Come on, talk to me here. Don't, don't eat crappy food. It's quiet in here. God's a refuge. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just showing you the, begin the, seeing the change, the, ch the changing. It's, it's coming. It's, it's here. The shifting, the changing, and it's not going back. Let me tell you, it continued to spiral down because we're there. We're there. Okay. So all your wishful thinking, throw it out the window. You know, we have revival. We have uh, God's going to work. They say, no. God said, judgment's coming. Come on, God, you know, come on. Okay. Many depart from the faith. And many, you know, everything's changing in the church, in the governments, in the nations, in the world. Everything's changing. And the Antichrist will have all the answers. But aren't you glad we know the Lord? Aren't you glad we know this man? And he's called Jesus. He's my rock. See, he's my rock. Isn't that wonderful? And let's close with this. A man will be as a hiding place. He's the man, Christ Jesus. He's my hiding place. You ever go to the Lord and say, Oh Lord, just hide me. Just cover me. Let me just, 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 let me just run to the rock. So he's my rock. Turn to somebody and say, Jesus is my rock. He's my rock. He's my rock in the weary land. He's a shelter in the time of my storms. He's my hiding place from the wind. He's a cover. He's my covering from the tempest and all that's happening and all that I will experience in this earthly realm. He set us rivers of water in a dry place. In my dry place, in my dry life, He's rivers of water. Somebody say amen. That's a shadow of a great rock. He is the great God. He's also my shadow in a weary land. He's a shelter in the time of my storms. He's my refuge and my strength. A very present help in the time of my struggles, my troubles. Therefore we will not fear though the earth be removed and the waters be carried away in the midst. There is a God who is faithful, who is solid. He's the rock. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He changes not. No matter what I go through, I can run to the rock. He's the rock of my salvation. His banner over me says he loves me. Hallelujah. That's his word, his banner, his word is over me. His banner over me is love. I want you to stand with me today. I just want to hold that there. Preach that message another time. 
we come to the table of the Lord. And what a privilege, what a joy to come to the table. In Luke 22, verse 14, and when the hour had come, he sat down with the twelve apostles with him, and he said to them with fervent desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say to you, I will no longer eat of it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and gave thanks. And, and the Bible said, he said, take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread and he gave thanks and he broke it and he gave it to them saying, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let me say to you, he closes out Passover under the law. The church do not celebrate Passover. Passover is out of order in scripture. The Jews celebrate Passover because they do not accept Christ. But the church don't celebrate Passover. Passover is done away with. Passover be was before the Lamb came. Now the Lamb has come. And the Lamb became the sacrifice. Jesus, the Lamb of God, slain before the foundation of the world became a reality. Now he became the sacrifice. We don't need Passover. We don't need lamb meat and Passover food. Jesus said, now he closes out law and Passover. And he instituted what? Grace. Come on. Christ, life and truth. Come on, a new way. He calls it a new and living way. He calls it a new covenant. Come on, talk to me here. Hallelujah. A new covenant, a new testament. Don't bring law back in the church. Say, law is law. That's gone away with That's finished. Taking nothing away from it. It's fulfilled like you read a book and you finish and you close it. Now, something else new. Come on, I move on. Somebody say we've moved on to something better. Isn't that wonderful? Why go back to law and you got something better? That's dumb. That's stupid. Why did go back to law when you got grace and truth? You got Christ. All right? So, New Testament, Jesus said, What? Unless you eat of my flesh and you drink of my blood, you have no life in you. So when we partake of him now, say new covenant, new life, new and beginning way, he imparts within you a fresh infusion of his life. Isn't that beautiful? Remember, in him we live, in him we move, in him we exist, in him we... What, what do you mean his life? His, say his spirit life. His spirit, a fresh infusion of his spirit life. Like when you get a blood transfusion, you get all new energy. And like you feel like, well, I could get out of this bed. I could do anything I want to do because you get new life in the physical. Because you've got a fresh infusion of blood. Anybody hear me here? All right? Well, you get a fresh, a fresh infusion of the spirit life of Christ. Isn't that beautiful? I've come that you might live, that you might have life, that you might have life more abundantly so jesus said in closing he said likewise also take the cup after supper this cup is the new covenant in my blood which is shared for you and then he closed by saying i bestow upon you a kingdom as my father has bestowed upon me that you may eat and drink at my table and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of israel speaking to the disciples. Somebody say praise God. Stretch forth your hand to the table of the Lord. Father bless. Bless the fruit of the vine. The unleavened bread. Lord we bless it. And Lord as we partake. We partake in simple faith. In what you declared. You said take eat. This is my body. Take the cup and drink you all of it. This is my blood. Of the new testament. Which was shed for you. And we believe what you said. And by faith we will partake and we will eat and we will drink believing that this is what you told us this is your body this is your blood and this is your body 
that we may receive life and virtue and healing and strength in Jesus name and the body of Christ said amen hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord Sister Carol, would you come and receive uh, the communion and share it with the body of Christ? Let me say, before you open it, you know, the seal, shake it up like this, because it settles. And, uh, and you don't have the, the grape sediment to the bottom of it. Just shake it up. God bless you. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. All oh, precious is the flow that washes White as snow, and no other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus, nothing but the blood of Jesus, what can wash away my sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus, what can make me whole again, Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. The Bible said there's a fountain filled with blood and it's drawn from Emmanuel's veins. Sinners plunge beneath the blood, losing all their guilty stains. Losing all their guilty stains. Sinners plunge beneath the blood, losing all. Isn't that wonderful? There are guilty stains. See it? See how this body is blood The blood will never lose its power. Jesus in recognition that this bread is your body you said this is my body we lift the bread to you in celebration and thanksgiving and honor and glory to Jesus the Lord of glory we declare Jesus you the bread of life you the bread that came down from God out of heaven you said if we eat of this bread we shall not die but that we shall live forever Lord, we desire to live forever with you, for in you we live, in you we move, in you we exist, in you we have our being, and without you, we're but dust, we're nothing without you. And break the bread with me, said, and his body was broken for me. Father, we lift the bread in celebration and thanksgiving and honor and glory to Jesus. And Father, we thank you for this privilege and this honor of breaking bread and sharing and eating with you your body as the body of Christ. In Jesus' name, we eat of this bread. Rejoice and eat with me.
your body. Your body broken, torn, plowed like a field for me. For by your stripes I am healed. Your body, which is the veil, the temple, the shadow, was torn. 78 feet tall. The finger of God came and opened it. Psst. Separated. Never again does a man has to go for you. So I can come myself behind the veil, for the veil is open. I can come whenever, wherever, however, so long as I come. Isn't that wonderful? The Bible said, come boldly before the throne of grace and make your petition known before God. No one has to go for me. No priest, no man. The priest is out of order. Nobody has to send for me. I can come myself. In that one realize what God did for us. Say through his body. Isn't that wonderful? That's one of the benefits of his body being torn. The veil had to go. Say the veil had to go. In that one realize what's happening here. The veil had to go. So no more does a man have to go for you with the blood of an animal and offer for you. Isn't that wonderful? I can come myself. He's my father. I can say, Abba, I can come myself to my daddy, to my father. Isn't that wonderful? Tell me that's not personal. My Lord of mercy. Hallelujah. In my home, I got a big office, you know, and when my kids were small, you know, they said, Mommy, where's Daddy? He said, he's in the office. Well, they just go around the office. Hey, Dad, sit in my chair and play the stuff on the table. and They're home. That's like you at your dad, you at your father. Somebody, isn't that wonderful? You just come like a child in his presence. Isn't that wonderful? Hey, Dad. Hey, Daddy. Abba, come on, Daddy, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. That's relationship. Come on. Take the cup with me. Father, in recognition that your son died and shed his blood for each and every one of us, I lift the cup to you. Jesus, and recognize that this is your shed blood. You said, this is my blood that was shed for the remission of sins. For by your blood I'm sanctified holy. By your blood I've been forgiven. By your blood I've been justified. By your blood I've been redeemed. By your blood I've been justified. By your blood I have become a son, an heir, and a joint heir with Christ. I lift the cup to you in celebration and thanksgiving. For without the shedding of blood there's no remission of sins. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm grateful. I'm appreciative, and I love you with all of my being. And I give you glory and honor and worship and thanksgiving and praise. In Jesus' name, would you drink with me? I drink of this cup. Drink with me. Oh. Oh, shapapaka, see me, stand with me on your feet and lift your heart, lift your hands in closing. Sovereign Lord God, we're thankful. I thank you for the body of Christ, your bride, your manifest sons. I thank you for the people of God. I thank you for your spirit, the way you moved in this house today. I thank you for the anointing of fresh oil, the glory of God that was manifest the way you move differently, the, the way you, you, you've descended like a cloud upon us, the way you've changed the order of the service, and Lord, the way, Lord, I, I, I'm so thankful. We're not serving a dead God, we serve a God who now and then interrupts life, and then interrupts your planning, and interrupts what you want, and says, now son, yes, just hold it right there, I want to do what I want to do. This is my bride. This is my child. And I said, yes, daddy. 
Yes, Daddy. Isn't that wonderful? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we're so thankful. You know, we see things done in the church and we don't we need to recognize that God is interrupting. God is moving. God is doing something different. Divine order. And everything is in order. Divine order. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that wonderful? And Father, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, if there's any sick here, bring healing to the people of God. Any, anything out of order, any disease, I curse it, I rebuke it, I, I bind it off of the body, out of the body, into the dross. And Lord, I speak life into you, healing into you, wholeness. Bring the body in alignment with your word that we may be whole, healthy, and healed in every organ. Every function, every joint, every bone, every muscle, every cell, every fiber of our being. For you, the Lord, our God, that he led you said, let the sick say, I am healed. And you're the great physician, the miracle worker. And Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor and thanksgiving in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Now may the grace of God and the love of Christ and may the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost clothe you, rest out upon you and gird and strengthen you and wrap himself round about you like a garment. And may he go before you on open doors for you, making a way for you and providing for you and meeting every need in your life. May his covering protect you and cover you and keep you healthy and sustain you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. And the body of Christ the cleaner said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Come on, don't give the, give the Lord a pat of cake. Come on, let's give him a round of applause. Let's give the devil a headache. Come on. Hallelujah. Clap, clap, clap your hands, all you people. Shout, shout, shout. Under God with a voice of victory, with a voice of triumph, with a voice of praise. The Lord inhabits the praises of his people. Hallelujah.